Hi, I'm Dr. K, and today we're going to be doing some pellets in a male patient. Uh, pellets are a way to deliver hormone replacement. They're very efficient. They last a long time, in some cases four to six months. Uh, you can think of them as a very long-acting injection. Uh, so in this case, we're treating a man. Uh, we're going to be implanting the pellets on his flank, where there's a little extra tissue to, hide, to hold the pellets. Um, I'm going to mark a spot based on the landmarks of where we will be putting them. The next step is I'm going to clean his skin with uh, chlorhexidine. Now this is a little local anesthetic called lidocaine and we use it just to numb up the skin. We'll give him more anesthetic as we get through the process. These kits are prepackaged. They're sterile. We're going to draw up some anesthetic. Tiny bit of beta methasone. This is something I developed. And the reason for that is it reduces inflammation. Um, sometimes patients will have an inflammatory reaction to the binders in the pellet. And if a patient has a reddened, swollen area, you don't know then is it an infection or is it just inflammation? So by reducing the inflammation using that medication, uh, we don't really see any redness or problems. And so we know we're not having any inflammatory reaction or infection. This is another type of antiseptic. It's called betadine. It's an iodine compound. I'd love to uh, make sure my sterile field is very clean. So although most doctors don't put two different types of antiseptic on the skin, I do. And as I said, we don't really see any wound infections. So now we have our sterile field. I can work here without any risk of contamination. And I'm going to give more anesthetic. So these are testosterone vials, and they're sterile, and they're made at a special pharmacy that designs uh, products to be implanted into people. This is the device we use to insert them. Pellets fit in here, and they get pushed in with a, basically a plunger. It's called a trocar. All right, he should be numb by now. We make a small incision. How are we doing? Great. Hey, my patient's happy. Very happy. So this is a pellet. Um, it is compressed testosterone. Sometimes they add a little cholesterol, the same thing in your blood, to hold the testosterone together. It's compressed super hard so that it's basically as hard as a piece of plastic or, um, and it dissolves very, very slowly so that it has a very long lasting effect, unlike an injection which is gone in a week. These are sterile. They use um, gamma radiation to sterilize these, which is how pretty much any drug is sterilized these days. Uh, they're made by a special pharmacy that has permission from the FDA to make and ship pellets to offices for, or hospitals for uh, outpatient use. If you're going to make things that are going to be implanted into a person's body, they have to be made under very strict sterile conditions. So now we're, instead of stitches, we're using these tapes known as steri strips to close the wound. And as you can see, there's virtually no bleeding. 
there's no pain. You just get a nice little rest for 30 minutes and go about your day. We expect to see some significant rise in his blood levels of testosterone within a couple days. The peak effect will probably be at about a month. And then there's a steady level of testosterone released over the next few months. And the peak effect, the, uh, he'll probably need new pellets in about somewhere between four and six months. We'll check blood work to find out exactly when. Taking care of this incision, incision site is really easy. Um, you just leave it alone for two days, don't get it wet. And then after two days, you can take a shower. It actually helps to peel this tape off. And those little strips that I put on the skin will stay on there for about 10 days. Um, eventually they'll peel off and you just go about your business. So um, a lot of my patients who are travelers for work, or don't want to go to the trouble of giving themselves injections like this solution because they don't have to do anything. They just go home and come back in four to six months for another set. They completely dissolve.